Subeda. In today's session, we will go ahead and take the first question of econometrics paper 2019. Now, the first question of your econometrics paper will always be a true-false question, always. So, you will be given five true-false of three marks each and that will come up to 15 marks and you have to go ahead and solve those true-false. Let us try to go ahead and let us try to read the first true fall for the day. So it says in the regression model, you are given this regression model, ln y is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x plus ui. If beta 2 hat is multiplied by 100, we obtain the growth estimate of yi. We obtain the growth estimate of yi. Try to understand this statement beta. So what I can go ahead and I can do here is I can just differentiate both sides by y. I mean, uh, I can total differentiate this function. So 1 by y dy is equal to 0 plus beta 2 dx plus 0, right? So I will get that beta 2 is equal to 1 by y dy by dx. Now, suppose I assume that the change in x is 1 unit. Right, so I will get 1 by y dy because we always interpret beta 2 by 1 unit change. It changes by 1 unit, right? So let's assume that change in x is by 1 unit. So beta 2 will come out to be 1 by y, uh, will come out to be 1 by y dy. Now the formula of growth rate of y will be change in y upon the original value of y into 100. This is called as growth rate of y. So, if I were to go ahead and I were to write 1 by y dy, so this can be, if I just need to find this out, so I can take 100 here and I will get dy by y is equal to growth rate of y divided by 100, right? So, this part can be written as growth rate of y divided by 100, right? So, I will get beta 2 is equal to growth rate of y divided by 100, which means that if I will multiply, if I just take this here, beta 2 with 100, I will get the growth rate of y. So, this statement is a true statement, right? This statement is saying that when you multiply beta 2 with 100, you obtain the growth estimate of y, which is absolutely correct. Am I making sense? So, yes, this is a true statement. Okay, fine. Now, let us go to the next part. So, second part goes ahead and says, please write down, in the regression through origin, the R square may not be meaningful. Right. So, this is also a true statement, beta. When we write R square using regression through origin model, right? So, in the R square that we have, it is no more in the deviation format. It is in the absolute format. Matlab you have summation x, y by summation x squared, summation. So, you have everything in the absolute format. So, since you have everything in the absolute format, therefore, um, this R square need not be between 0 and 1. It can exceed 1 also. <coughs> <coughs> sorry it need not be between 0 and 1 and therefore it loses all its meaning so we can go ahead and say that this is a true statement since you will give the formula of this r square so since this is since r square in regression <laughs> through origin model is calculated using absolute value, it loses its meaning in many cases. Just telling that a statement is true or a statement is false is not correct you need to also go ahead and justify the statement. Okay, let's go to statement number three. It says, consider a simple regression model, yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus ui. Then the OLS estimator 
फॉलो नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ यू आई फॉलोज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इफ यू आई फॉलोज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन अगेन बेटा दिस स्टेटमेंट इज अ ट्रू स्टेटमेंट इट इज अ ट्रू स्टेटमेंट सो ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट फॉर क्लासिकल लीनियर नॉर्मल रिग्रेशन मॉडल आई रिक्वायर दैट माई यू आई शुड बी नॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड राइट नाउ ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट योर बीटास ये जो भी आपके बीटास हैं आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस इन माई वीडियो लेक्चर ऑल्सो दीज बीटास आर एज्यूम्ड टू बी लीनियर फंक्शन ऑफ वाई आईज these betas are assumed to be linear functions of yi and yi just has two component to it thoda samjho right yi just has two component to it this is the deterministic component deterministic component and this is the stochastic component or random component or non deterministic component so the distribution of yi yi ka jo bhi distribution rahega the distribution of yi will be determined using the distribution of ui right so when yi so when ui's are normally distributed then yi's are normally distributed and when <coughs> yi's are normally distributed so betas are their linear function so you know you get beta this is beta not hat is y bar minus beta 1 x bar so you get them as a function of y so when y's are normally distributed then these betas are also normally distributed and hence the case that they are normally distributed so it is a true statement okay beta statement number d okay so it says that p value of the test statistic is same as level of significance is same as level of significance or uh, is equal to the level of significance so try to understand this thing this is incorrect right this is incorrect so basically let me just mention that this statement is false so basically why this statement is false beta because we compare p with the level of significance we don't say p is equal to the level of significance right so for example if i am checking at 5% level so i will say that if p is less than 0.05 we will reject null in favor of alternative if p is greater than 0.05 we do not have proof to reject the null so we will compare p with the level of significance p itself is not the level of significance so this is an incorrect statement this is an incorrect statement is this clear okay beta come to e it says if the estimate of slope coefficient in a bivariate regression <clears throat> is zero measure of coefficient of determination is also zero this is a true statement beta if you remember we had written that r square will be equal to byx into bxy right r square is equal to byx into bxy now try to understand it is saying that this byx is zero right when i run y is equal to beta not plus beta 1 xi plus ui this is zero so if this is zero the r square will automatically be zero right so if r square is zero the coefficient of determination is zero so yes this is a true statement we can go ahead and say it just says you know just says bivariate regression which means we are only considering one variable at a time so yes this is a true statement okay okay beta thank you